How's it going today, guys? Back here at Mummert Y Block. Playing with some uh, TFS A460s. This is a 340 CC set of heads for a 565. And they're going to have a 2385 intake and a 188 exhaust. But uh, yeah, this is a good look of the ports coming out of the machine. Um, it's been a long road. This head's got a few little twists and turns in it that uh, I guess everybody knows, but until you try to machine it, you know, you don't uh, really figure it out. Here's a look down the intake port after the machining, and uh, the guide's been pressed back in. So uh, it's a good port. Flows in the high 400s. Should be capable of uh, definitely over a thousand horsepower. And this is one of those little things that's strange about the head. And because it's a 460, it's a 4900 four center. But because it takes big block Chevy headers, all of the exhaust port outlets and header bolts are on 4850 bore centers. So if you look at the right port, it's got kind of a distinctive angle to the left. And then as you go down toward cylinder number one, you'll notice that the port starts to kind of hook back to the right. And that's basically what happens when all of your valve seat inserts are on 4900, but your exhaust port outlets are on a 4850. Every one of these ports has to be slightly different. That's a quick side view of a silicone mold of the stock exhaust port in aqua or blue. And then the port we're doing is in red. Here's a good look of the uh, intake ports and the exhaust ports and the port plate and then we have some uh, improvised head bolts so we can see how the exhaust ports are getting around. I'm sure we'll do a follow up on this video as we get farther along. We're going to do the chambers next and then obviously we have to finish cut the valve jobs, assemble them. And this engine will get dyno, so we'll have some performance updates on this engine later in the year. So, if you like the video, hit like, subscribe, and uh, we'll be back doing some more later. Thanks, guys.